Welcome back to Easel Does It Studio, guys. I thought I had my camera on and I forgot to hit the button. So, <laughs> my name is Michelle, for those of you that don't know. And this is a mold I've had for a couple of months, but I have not poured it. So, I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. And then this one is the, uh, I, I think it was, um, I don't know, Irish setter or something like that. It's a dog. And I have done him. I made actually a couple of lights with him, but I want to see what he looks like in the mixed mold because look at all the detail that is in this. <clears throat> so, and I do have a couple of other pieces here. I'm trying the birds again. So, we'll have a bunch to demold when it's demold time. So, yeah. I'm glad I when I started putting the powder in, I happened to look and I'm like, oh my God, I'm not even recording. What an idiot. Okay. So, let's get a stick. And I'm going to bring this cup over so that before I color it, I can make sure that I have enough. Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking six ounces. I think he's five. I'm not sure. So I do have a couple of other molds over here that I can pop some stuff into. All right. Get this all mixed up. So I figured I would get these poured. I've got to run to the grocery store and pick up a few groceries. So I will get these poured. I'll go do that. And then when I come home, these will be ready, more than ready to demold. All right, so that is looking good. All right, so I am gonna see how, oh, there's a few clumps. All right, so it's not quite, it's five ounces. So let's go ahead and we'll put a little bit more powder and some more water and that was way too much water I'm thinking so I did try the the blue here that you see that was an alcohol ink and that actually didn't work too, too bad. And then the, the other shell, this was um, resin um, dye. Resin ink, sorry. Um, pigment ink. Jeez. My, my words. All right, so we've got six... And I know we're going to need a lot. And I was going to try and mix it into the powder, but I didn't know like how much I needed. So I just figured it mixes really well in here. So I figured we'd just do it this way. And it's giving like little silver flakes on the top, which is kind of neat. So 
I'm just making sure that I'm smashing that powder around and then stirring it in. Might need a little bit more powder. I want it thin, but I don't want it watery either. should be and I gotta remember to check how many ounces so I will have an idea all right so we are at six and a half ounces all right so I'm gonna pour a little in and just kind of make sure there's no bubbles and it's getting in all that little detail. Oop. Don't bang it too much. You will get it in the face. Oh my God, guys, I poured the right amount. I got like a smidgen left, a little, little bit. But I need to move him and get him propped up onto something. Okay. And I'm going to pour this. That way I will know if a layering works. Now, I didn't even clean these molds out. I just kind of threw it in there. But all right, and we will just move that back. All right, so now we've got this one and I'm just going to uh, take another cup. This stuff cleans out really good. If you just let it dry, you just crinkle it, and it all breaks apart. All right. <laughs> so. Oh, i got to be careful here. I don't, I don't want to knock that over because it will be a mess. Not a sticky mess, but a mess. So that's all right. So let's see. We got that six ounces of powder, which I know it is going to go down, but and I'm going to put. 
an ounce and a half of water on the top. Just scooping the powder that's on the bottom, getting that up. So I've at least got a few videos out for you guys. So my hands are doing much better. This is Saturday morning. So they are doing a lot, a lot better. And I'm so tempted, but I think I'm just going to wait until Monday when my gloves get here so that I can use the thicker gloves. I was thinking about wearing two sets of gloves because I have a mold that I want to pour so bad. But, all right, so let me see. So this gave us five ounces, five ounces, and all right, I guess, <coughs> I'm gonna put a little bit more, <coughs> excuse me, um, So guys, if you're liking the content, don't forget, give me a thumbs up. That does really help my channel, helps get me spread out there. So we are almost at the 2,000 subscribers, which we will have another giveaway. I'm still trying to figure out what that's going to be. But there will be another giveaway. All right, so we are at six ounces. Just making sure if there's any on the bottom. All right, I'm hoping this is enough. So this is the chestnut. Oh, and I've never even tried this one yet. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, yeah, that hopefully will be good. So I have went in and watched a few different people. Um, one of them was the Southern Lady artistic one, I something like that. I apologize, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I did subscribe. Um, I've watched a few of Claire's from Claire's Crafty Corner. I re-watched some of Michelle's from Glitz and Glitter. So, and that is not... Let me grab something a little bit darker to pop in there. Let's do, hmm. Let's do a copper, because it's in the same. Add 
some brown. It was just, it's, it's looking too pink. And I know it'll probably darken up a little bit as it dries, but I definitely don't want it pink. I mean, I suppose I could paint it, so. All right, it's kind of almost like a All right, we are getting a little bit of a swirl, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this poured. Did we do it? Yes. Whoa. All right, so he definitely needs to get propped up. Front foot could have a little bit more in it. But All right, we're gonna leave that and we'll just pour whatever's left in here. And I'm just gonna try and get it to go and it'll kind of prop it up. All right. All right. And I'm just going to leave that. And then I can like make a different color and finish it off with something. I just, and that way I'll know how the layering kind of works because that's the one thing I haven't done. So, This one, it's it's already hard. Oh, look at that. That came out really nice. Okay, so layering it doesn't, there was no lip there or nothing. 
And that was one of the other ones. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these guys. I really don't. So I'll probably be putting a lot of... Oh, these are going to make a nice pair of earrings. These I will probably make a pair of earrings for myself. That really... Those are nice. All right. Oh, that one broke, which I knew it would. It's really thin. And that one came out kind of cool, too. Almost looks like a cloud effect. So I'm not going to demold anything else. So that's already set up. So that's the one thing I like about this is if it's falling over, even if you had to hold it, you literally have to hold it for a couple minutes. And then you can leave it and it's not going to spill. So, yeah. All right, so I'm going to go run, do my errands, all that, and I will be back, and I'm going to clean this mess up, and we will demold, and hopefully I can get my little birdies out. I mean, these are probably ready, but I'm going to give them some extra time, just in case. All righty, guys. Alrighty, guys, I think these are ready. I know these ones are. So let's go ahead and get this little bugger demolded. I also did learn that you can spray water down in these to help demold them. I was not sure. Oh, oh, that one came out kind of cool. I'm on camera focus here. <laughs> so I will clean the bottom up. Once I let them cure, I'll clean that up. <clears throat> All right, so. Ooh. And this one here is pretty um, squishy, this mold. So I'm hoping and praying, trying to get my fingers up in there. Can anybody guess what it is? There's one little bubble. <coughs> God, I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. Well, we've had 50s and now 80s, and our weather keeps, like, going back and forth and doesn't want to make up its mind. So I haven't gone grocery shopping yet because when I got upstairs and made my list, I realized my daughter, I got to pick my granddaughter up at four, so... Oh, oh, he's beautiful. So we do have a bubble in that tail. I'll just sand it down. But other than that, oh, then I can just paint some little details and... Oh, he's precious. <sighs> All righty. Phew. Oh. All right, another dog. And I don't think I remember this being too difficult to unmold. Again, it's a nice, squishy 
mold. I'm saving my birds. I, I don't want my birds to break. I would like to have a couple. All right, so he's got a few little bubbles under his chin um, and under his ear, throughout his belly. But overall, he came out so cute. The detail is just impeccable with this stuff. Oh. All right, please, please, birds, please, please, please don't break. So the last one, I broke their nose, their beak off, and the tail. But I used a thicker resin. So I am learning with this, the thinner the, the consistency, the harder it is. That much I have discovered in this whole five pound bucket here that I've almost gone through. Oh yeah, much better, much better. The other ones were like clay. So the thinner the consistency, the better. Yay, I got a bird. I got me a bird. So I did this one first because that's the bird that I don't care as much about. This is the one that my granddaughter wants a whole bunch of so and there's no bubbles in that no broken beak look look we got a beak and no broken tail yes Sweet. Come on, camera, focus here. Maybe if I. There we go. That's better. So, yeah, you can, you know, you can still see how dry my hands are, but they are a lot better than they were. Oh, there is one tiny little imperfection there, which I'll just sand. So that is one bird. I'll bring you back up all for close-ups. So I did order the Dragon Glaze um, sealer. That's going to be here Tuesday or Wednesday. So, and then this again is the shell. And this was the pigment ink that I had doused in there a little bit, just to give a little bit of variation. So yeah. And then my precious, my precious elephants. I love elephants. I thought that was a bubble, but I don't think it is. And see, there's a little, a little bubble there, but not too big. And then I'll just sand the edges, but, oh, he's precious. And then our little puppy. And what I'll probably do is just do a little dry brushing once they cure up for 24 hours and I'll paint his face and all that stuff. I'll sand down some of these bubbles so they're not so obvious. But yeah. So that is our haul for today and I barely have any mixed mold left. I, don't, I probably have something to make a small 
yeah, that's all, that's all I have left. So, I might be having to make another trip to Michael's. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Especially if I do the resin and my hands act up again because I, I don't know what to do if that happens. So, I mean, I've <clears throat> bought all kinds of new products to try and alleviate it. So, we will see. Alrighty, guys. Um, I will wait and get some final pictures once I get these sealed and decorated or whatever I'm going to do with them. So, I will get some final pictures then. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.